I just want to ask a question that I think may be con of a concern to a lot of people like myself. Um, I've never been very good at meditation and, and being quiet in my mind, but I've really been working at it. And I find that my mind wanders. And something you said today was, you tell us to quiet our minds because you understand that it's, it's hard for us not to think negative thoughts. Yes. And so if you don't think any. Yes. But what I ended up doing was, because I couldn't keep it perfectly quiet, yes. I started just recently to envision walking along with my higher self or my inner being. And you've always been with me and we've been walking down the road of life, but we haven't been conversing. And you've always been there and I've always sort of felt you there. Now I want you to take my hand and talk to me. Well, that is wonderful. You see what you're doing? You are choosing a valve opening thought and focusing there. In other words, that, that when you meditate, your goal is to not get carried away in thoughts that are valve closing. So we teach holding a note mentally or audibly or listening or counting the dripping of I a faucet. I tried that. The point of it is to hold your thought in a vibration that has no lack. Well, you found a way of doing that without asking your mind to do something your mind doesn't really want to do. Meditation is hard for most because you've trained yourself to be responsive to thought and because you are responsive to thought and then all of a sudden you say, I'm going to stop doing this thing I've trained myself to do all of these years and I'm going to suddenly stop thought. And most have a very difficult time with it. That's why we encourage short segments of meditation. Actually, we would much rather see you in a rampage of appreciation. And what you are doing is similar to that. In other words, you are visualizing something and finding a good feeling place about it. It is most effective. Well, I felt, then I felt uplifted and I felt good, where before, every time my thought strayed, I ended up feeling bad. And I would stop after the end of the 15 minutes instead of feeling uplifted, feeling like I had failed meditation. Well, what happens to many of you also is that you, you see, when it, the first time Esther sat to meditate, she had not spent time in this vibrational energy. In other words, when she sat to meditate, her desire to make the connection with that which she considered to be good was very strong. But she had no idea what she was doing. She, she, she didn't know what failing was. In other words, she, she just sat to do it. Where most of you have read so much, you've compared yourself to so many that you have lackful yes. vibration about yourself relative to the subject, you see. And then when you sit in a workshop like this, in perfect vibrational harmony with the energy that is you, you achieve the same thing you achieve in meditation. Now your work is done. Get on with it. And what we mean by get on with it is find an object of attention, open your valve and spray it all over it. Find an object of attention, open your valve and spray it all over it. In other words, we promise you, you did not come here to quiet your mind. And the only reason that that is ever taught is to give you the touchstone of well-being, to help you recognize the difference between an open valve and a closed valve, you see. And after you play with your valve a little bit, you'll get really good with it. You'll, for example, feel the difference between the the feeling that is evoked from you with these words peace passion now they're both valve open but peace is valve opening with not much thought in other words you, you, peace is what you might feel in meditation you've opened the valve the energy's flowing to you but you're not doing that much with it Passion is the valves open, the energy is flowing to you, and you're flowing it toward this, toward this, toward this, toward this, toward this. So you've got momentum going. In other words, passion is a valve open and a specific idea that you are flowing it toward. You see what we're getting mm -hmm. at? Mm -hmm. So in time, you get, before the gathering this morning, Jerry and Esther awakened in Los Angeles and they had a glorious day yesterday and they awakened feeling wonderful and, and they moved about and then, and then packed to come here. And they got here not too much before the, the gathering and, and Esther is noticing how beautiful everything is, but mostly she's just going through the motions of getting ready for this gathering. And then she realized and Jerry was bouncing off the wall in, with an enthusiasm for life at, a, at the highest pitch she has ever seen him at. In other words, the, the, the sequence of events that he's been living the last few days and the being here in the place he loved so much, he was soaring. And as Esther saw him soaring in contrast to her peacefulness, she felt a little lack. In other words, she was not where he was. <laughs> 
or, and couldn't even imagine getting there with, with any ease. He was so extreme in his joy. So she sat down and said, Abraham, talk to me about the gathering. And we began to talk to her about you, about your enthusiasm for coming, about the interest that you were bringing with you, about the questions that you had formulated. And we encouraged her to acknowledge the end of the gathering and the feeling of oneness and the feeling of triumph and the feeling of satisfaction and the feeling of joy and the feeling of connection. And Esther's valve was open and she was bouncing off the wall with passion. You see what we're getting at? You're, you, you will not feel much passion unless you hold yourself upon an object of attention for a period of time enough to allow the energy to really flow toward it. And so meditation is, is not important at all. It's connecting to the energy and flowing it. Meditation is just a tool to help you recognize you're connected to the energy. That is all that it is. Many people use meditation. They use the word meditation, but what they really mean is workshop. They get into that good feeling place and then they offer imagery of things that they want. Well, we don't call that meditation. We call that deliberate creation. We call that creating of worlds. We call that creation. We call that fulfilling your purpose, you see. Don't get hung up on labels. Just feel your way through this. Well, then I tell Ralph <laughs> that I have a lot of questions. And so I really would like us to talk so that we can, I want to share. It, it's a whole new idea to me that that they're getting something from me. Abs well, you are and I'm extension. in my swimming pool and I'm thinking, do you feel that? Do you feel yes. how silky that water yes. feels? And it, it's a whole new concept that I'm contributing to good, them good. as well as what I would like from them. You it's are more of a sharing. Blending, you use the word, you are an extension of pure positive energy. And you could not be without that, that could not be without you. In other words, it is, is co-creation at its very best. As, and the more you appreciate, the more you allow that presence. And the more you allow that presence, the clearer your vision. And the clearer your vision, the more you allow that presence. In other words, it is a synergism that, that builds upon itself in a magnificent way. Good. But I want, I want to be Esther and Jerry at the same time. <laughs> you said something that we want to amplify just a little bit, and that is, as you say, I have all of these questions that I want answers to. We say, that's a little bit like going to a library and saying, give me a book. The librarian would say, a little more specific, please. And so when you say, I have all of these questions, we say, speak one. In other words, pinpoint one question, get the energy flowing about it, identify what it is you want to know about it, get some momentum going about it, because it is the asking of the question that creates the momentum that attracts the vortex that brings in the answer. Most of you are so limp in your questions, you say, give me the answer to my question. We say, what's the question? You say, give me the answer to my question. I have many questions. We say, what's the question? In other words, you've got to formulate the question which attracts the answer, you see. And, and what you're speaking about, your understanding of, of how it works, we want to amplify something because most think non-physical sitting up there with all of the answers just waiting to give them to you. So you say, okay, I'm ready, give them to me. And it doesn't work that way. It is by your identifying of what you are wanting that you attract the information that satisfies you, you see. We have